everyone, welcome to another video view. This is the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Nightshade. You can see them there in front of the box. We'll go ahead and put them them off to the side and uh, take a look at said box real quick. And yeah, you can see Nightshade there, you know, jumping into action. You got the Mandroid number, part number seven, the torso finally. Transformers Earth Spark Nightshade, you know, the Autobot logo, line wide work there, and Deluxe Class, line wide work again, Mandroid. Uh, some copyrights and what's included, more copyrights, warnings, and whatnot, and of course, product shots and all the entire wave. And this Nightshade here is the final member of the wave. And then we can finally build Mandroid and all that stuff. So there you go on that. Also comes with instructions, which are well, pretty straightforward because it's not an exactly difficult toy to transform. Although, interestingly enough, it doesn't show you one aspect, which is odd. It's like, it's so simple. I'm, I'm surprised it's not even mentioned in the instructions. At least I didn't see that mentioned in the instructions. So anyway. Nightshade. They are one of the Terrans from the show. Uh, one of the, I guess, one of the new siblings that gets introduced about halfway through the first season. And they are a bit different from the others, including the whole kind of likes to be left alone for long periods of time. Whole thing there. Anyway, uh, looking at some details, you can see some kind of the greenish, like doggle-like eyes. You got a bit of something, some, something like a bit of like ears, bat-like, which is interesting because not a bat. They're not a bat. Got a little um, like black cross thing right there. Again, some nice metallic green paint right here and there. Got this like yellowish greenish uh, fin or whatever on the on the arm. Got some green, black, and gray down there. Big old wings again. The metallic green paint. And of course, yeah, the, the back is kind of not you know, kind of a little hollow, a little bit, but not too bad. And considering you know transformation and everything. Yeah. I like Nightshade. They they are a good robot, to be honest. Yeah, just is all that. You know, they look really good. Um, overall, there's actually there's a lot about this toy that I like. It's I think one of the better best ones in the entirety of the deluxes for Earth Spark. Yeah, you can see that there. A couple of accessories. Of course, it comes with uh, the Mandroid torso. So yeah, we can, I can finally go ahead and uh, build that. And I'll, I'll do that in a separate video. It shouldn't be too long, but yeah, I'm just going to do a separate video just because of the nature of things. And they also come with a cup, a pair of knives, a pair of knives, which is pretty neat. Um, those can be, you know, plugged into the hand. No problem. Slice and st slice and dice. All this stuff. Uh, you could also store the way. This is the weird thing. This is the thing as, as far as I can see does not, it's not mentioned in the instructions. All you can store the way you see these, uh, little three little uh, ridges right here on the back side of the knife. They line up with these bits and there's this tab right here and everything. Yeah, the knife can go into slot into the wings for storage. I'm not sure why this is not mentioned in the instructions at all. It's kind of odd to me. It's not even mentioned, but yeah, that's just because just those can both slide slot into the wings and now they're stored away and everything's good. So that's nice. Like that. It's nice, clever bit of storage, you know, pretty out of the way and blends in pretty well. So I'm not sure why it's not even mentioned. Anyway, possibility, uh, nightshade here, they can, uh, have a ball joint. So left and right, up and down, side to side there, waggle on the ball joint head, shoulders on ball joints. So they can also do a full 360. Well, they could, if it wasn't for the wings, they got outward. They have, ah, they have a bicep hole right here. There's elbows, 90 degrees. Uh, the wings also, you can see they have multiple hinges. So, you know, the forward and back there. Right here, this hinge is the ball joint here. You can adjust that too. You can also adjust the angle a little bit. So, you, you know, you can do a couple things there to for the wings if you want, which is pretty neat. Uh, the waist, unfortunately, has no swivel. And I, I also totally understand why, because, uh, yeah, the transformation kind of dictates that, unfortunately. But uh, hips on ball joint. So you got forward that far, back that far, way far back, outward. You also have this thing, but that's kind of mostly for bolt alt mode outward only this far before, you know, it just kind of stops. There's a knee swivel the knees also because of transformation have well, a lot of bend. <laughs> and down here at the feet, you do have uh, ankle tilt about that far and the toe can go down and the heel can go down and you can have that and you're going to do all that stuff. And there you go. So, uh, there's a possibility. It's pretty good for the most part. The only thing really honestly missing for a deluxe class is a waist joint. And honestly, that's kind of a common thing for the Earth spark, but here it actually makes sense as to why. So anyway, um, there's some quick comparisons, just, you know, pretty much the other earth spark deluxes. So here's Megatron 
Definitely not on scale. Bumblebee, not on scale. Twitch, also definitely not on scale. Night, Nightshade's a good, like, what? They are, they are, uh, good, almost like, almost twice as tall as Twitch. Twitch is pretty short. Shockwave, here's Optimus, again, very much out of scale. And finally, Grimlock. Yeah. So there you go. Scale does not matter to the Earthspark Deluxes, but, you know, just see how they look against each other. So, Transformation, uh, pretty simple actually. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take the, this right here, there's a, there's a swivel here, just swivel this all around and bring that forward like so. Actually, yeah, like so. The arms here, what you wanna do is bring them forward like this. Make sure they're not calling the wings. Bring those forward, they're on a, that's another thing. I guess that's also those abilities. You can use these as a butterfly joint as well. Totally forgot about that, but yeah. Um, you can do that, bring these forward like so. And also rotate in such a way that this, these right here, the arms right here, there's tab and slot. You can just get those tab and slotted together like so. Like that and just kind of leave them angled like this. Now back here, what you want to do, take the waist and this is on a hinge. You want to bring that back like so. Then take the legs at the knees and swivel them inward like this. Take the feet and bring them down, collapse them down like that. And then use the ball joints on the legs and bring those up and bring, and then rotate the leg inward like that, so just bring them in like so. And then right here, there's tabs on the knees, which will go into little slots back here on the back of the torso. There we go, there's one, there's the other. Like that. And then finally right here, there's these tabs right here, which will go into little slots on the arms. So, and then you angle the bird feet like so, and there you go. There's Nightshade in their alt mode. And yeah, Nightshade here, they turn into a very stylized owl. It's basically, it's, it's actually a statue of an owl, but yeah, uh, there's a whole thing in the, in the cartoon about this. But yeah, um, you can see there again, nice, a little bit of a, like a little stylized beak there and the eyebrows and the yellowish eyes and the kind of the... I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, a neck. Almost looks like a big old weird smile, though, to be honest. Um, it, it does have, like, you know, some gapping and whatnot, and also you can see visibly see the hands, like, just, they're just right there. But, eh, honestly, it's still pretty neat looking. Um, overall, yeah, you can stand like this if you want. You know, there's also, you know, swivel off ahead. The wings can still flap up and down. Again, there's multiple hinges there, and, of course, you can also angle them forward or backwards or whatever. Feet can also move forward and back on this pivot. You can also, yeah, do the... And move the wings like this and just kind of, you know, different pose for that if you want. Just kind of have them kind of tucked away like an owl, like just kind of, you know, perched. So that's pretty neat overall. So, yeah, generally, genuinely a pretty cool looking alt mode overall. I, I genuinely like the alt mode, you know, just got some issues. But honestly, this is all, the night, Nightshade here is just they've become kind of my favorite of the Earth Spark, Earth, yeah, Earth Spark Deluxes, to be honest. Just, there's a nice, it's simple, but really clever. The, yeah, the transformation. Honestly, simple, but really clever. And I really like that, um, just how it works. Clever weapon storage, looks good in both modes and everything. It's just, I think it's just, maybe because, again, maybe it's the whole, it's the newest one. But it, honestly, I think it's probably the best of all of them. I mean, don't get me wrong. Twitch, Optimus, and Grimlock are still great. But, like, this one's just something about this one. I really like it. So, I guess just for the comparisons, they like to lean to one side sometimes. Again, here's Megatron, definitely on scale. Mobile B, not on scale. Pretty much none of them are gonna be in scale, so I'll just say that right now. Twitch, their older sister. Shockwave. Again, I'm not even sure what Shockwave's even... I haven't seen Shockwave show up in the show, and I have no idea what they he turns into, so hey. Here's Optimus. And finally, Grimlock. Who doesn't want to stand right now? There we go. There you go.
If you're all interested in Earth Spark and whatnot, Ur Nightshade is a really fun little deluxe, to be honest. Just it's a simple transformation, but it's a clever one. It's a good looking robot. It's a good looking alt mode. It's just a good figure, period. And if you're gonna get one Earth Spark, I think Nightshade is the one to get. And like every other Spark Earth Spark figure, they go for about 20 bucks. So there you go. You get the Earth, you get the uh, build a figure bit. I don't know if you're not if you're getting the rest of them. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but yeah, you know it's gonna have kind of the weird, creepy. There's just a torso hanging around. But hey, <laughs> uh, there you go. Good figure. I recommend picking picking them up. So uh, that's it for this one. I hope you found it informative, entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my social media. Uh, check out my social media. It's at the in the description at the end of the video. And check out my Patreon, my coffee. And I shall see you next time with another video review.